Today I have with me via Zoom, Jennifer Sevilla, who is not only the CEO of Stromso Insurance Agency, but also the owner and chef of Crab Boil Catering. Hi. <laughs> So excited to have you. So um, obviously you're out of the comfort of your own home, you know, transitioning into this virtual world we're all forced to live in. Um, so can you talk about some of the challenges you might be facing as you're working from home? Yeah, I think um, like a lot of other people, the technology is great, um, but it's also difficult. So, you know, Zoom meetings that happen, that cut out, you know, that break up, that you know, are recorded and then not recorded. And it's, I think those are challenging, even though it's such a good thing. Um, um, there's that. And then there's also um, reaching out to the customers um, from home, you slow internet, um, safety, all of those things. So uh, not too much of a challenge, um, just different challenges than being in the workspace. So. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Well, I'm glad to hear that those aren't really challenges and you're able to work through them. So that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So as, you know, a business owner, you're also a mom. Um, so how are you keeping the kids busy while still st staying on track at work? Yeah. Um, well, nobody can really keep me on track, but <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a little bit easier for me because I have, I do have three kids, um, but I do have one who's in college. She's home now. Um, so she's 19. I have a, a high school student. He's 17, but I do have a first grader. Um, and, and it's interesting because I, I'm a spreadsheet person. I'm very analytical. I'll read all day. That's what I like to do. I'm not very crafty. So I'm actually lucky to have my oldest at home now because she's very crafty. She, you know, they made birdhouses and puzzles and all the things that I'm like, why are we doing this? Right. Um, so <laughs> I think I have it a little bit easier because I kind of have like a second mom. So yeah. And then the teenager, he just plays video games. So we're fine. <laughs> I love that. That's funny. You have a built-in nanny, essentially. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just have to feed her and, you know, bathe her. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're too funny. Uh, so what advice do you have uh, to those who are trying to transform into this working virtually and working from home? Um, a, a, a couple things. First thing is really take advantage of the time. Um, it's not very often that we don't have to get up, get dressed, you know, uh, for the most part and go somewhere, drop the kids off, you know, run errands, do all the things. So we actually have a lot more time, useful time. Um, so I recommend always, always try to schedule a Zoom meeting first thing in the morning. That way you have to get up, you have to get dressed, you have to get ready. Um, but then after that, you know, really make use of the time, use it to study, um, self-educate, um, reach out, do the things that you weren't able to do um, because we were busy running around. So um, I think the biggest advice is really educate, take the time and make it useful. Yeah. And have that accountability, like you said, because it's tempting. You want to stay in your pajamas, oh, yeah. and especially with this cold weather. You're like, eh, yeah. who needs clothes? <laughs> yep. Yep. It's true. First thing in the morning, wake up, get that call scheduled. I do it when I'm out of work, you know, or when I'm at work. Um, I do the same thing every morning. There's a coffee meeting. It just, you get up, you have to go. So um, it kind of gets your day going. Yeah. Great advice. Well, as a business owner and an employee, how are you supporting other local businesses throughout this time of crisis? <laughs> um, doing my best. Uh, uh, I am on the board for the Marietta Wildemar Chamber of Commerce and being able to be a resource um, through that, um, the chambers, to make, I mean, all the chambers are literally working tirelessly trying to get as much out um, information to the businesses and community members as well as advocating for them. Um, so for me personally, working with the chamber and doing that, um, but also myself, uh, we do have a lot of restaurant and brewery clients. Um, uh, one third of the United States business are made up of those. So having that local presence, being there, picking up food, um, um, sharing posts on Facebook or other social media outlets, really um, advertising what they are able to do um, is huge. Um, for me to do for them. Um, again, we do take out almost every day. Um, my husband, it's funny because he's like, you're a chef. <laughs> why are we, why are you cooking? Um, but for me, it's, it's not just about the cooking. It's not just about the food. It's really saying we're going to get through this and we're going to be fine. 
And having that strong community engagement is what's going to make us stronger when all this is over. I agree. I truly believe that's the silver lining is just the community yep. coming together. It's amazing yep. to see. And thank God for social media. I mean, it can be a pain some days, but <laughs> throughout all this, it's like, wow, like people care. People are nice to each other. This is cool. Yeah. Yeah. I was on a call earlier and they were, they were saying how, you know, social media has such a negative, you know, um, impact right now. But when I go through my feed and it's not that way, it's everybody sharing what they're doing, how they can help, you know, if they do need help being vulnerable and asking, knowing that the community is coming together. So I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing nothing but engagement, positive engagement. And I am so proud to live here. I couldn't agree more. Well, I'm so yeah. thankful for our time. I know you're busy accommodating all of your needs of your businesses. So thank you so much. And thankfully we can, uh, you know, virtually connect, maybe not able to find the time otherwise. So this is great. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. You're welcome. <laughs>